So if you want to take your C60 experience to the next level, you need to get really serious about healthy lifestyle choices. So the easiest and fastest way for you to optimize your C60 experience is to focus on these healthy lifestyle choices. So Ken, why don't you tell us what your favorite top things that you can do to accelerate your C60 journey are today? Well, the first is uh, to get into motion. You know, get off, get off from behind the screen and, and get out there and, uh, and start moving because life is motion. Mm -hmm. And uh, for far too many of us, <laughs> including myself, spend way too much time behind the screen and you're just getting, uh, you're just gaining inertia, I guess. So getting out and doing exercise, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day minimum is a really good idea and, and do something that you like to do. You know, just go walk around the block, start out small and build it up. Yep. I like to call it daily joyful movement. So if that's exercise for you, great. But if it's just moving your body and walking, that works too. Yeah. Of course, the next one we all know is a better nutrition. Mm -hmm. 100%. And uh, of course, now I recommend always eating organic foods when you can. They found just two weeks of organic fruits and vegetables reduced your pesticide herbicide burden 90%. Dang. So that's, that's important. But of course, a healthy diet is uh, important too. You know, the stuff around the outside of the of the uh, supermarket, you know, those chips, you know, they all taste good. There's all, you know, and all that other stuff, but it's not good for you. So uh, try to eat like wholesome, more nature-based foods rather than uh, the, the processed stuff. So healthy meats, veggies, fruits, natural yep. from the earth, whole foods, and yeah. whenever you can, avoid those nasty oils. So do you want to talk about those? Because those are oh, yeah. hidden in everything and people don't know it, especially if you're eating out, you have no idea what your food's being cooked in. And if you're not reading the label, you don't really know what kind of oil is in your food. Can you, so can you just talk to us a little bit about the, the hidden dangers with yeah. unhealthy oils? I guess they call them PUFAs, but really what they are, they're seed oils. And these oils are really high in omega-6s, which is inflammatory. And uh, they're really designed for birds to eat, not for people. And things like that, canola oil. Uh, soybean oil, cottonseed oil. Of course, sometimes they label them as vegetable oil, but uh, all of these... Uh, oh, and sunflower oil, and too. Sunflower oil and safflower oil, yeah. All of, these, all of these seed oils, and that's one of the reasons why people are so heavier now than the 1950s, is, uh, is these seed oils. And then, of course, there's also sugar. Mm -hmm. There's sugar, you know, we should reduce our sugar outtake if we can. And, uh, and especially stay away from the high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. because it doesn't tell your body to stop eating. Yeah. So, yeah. So you don't want to avoid the fructose if you can. What's your third tip for us? Well, getting good sleep. And that's just, uh, you know, one of those things, important things about sleep is, you know, setting a schedule. So you get to go to sleep at the same time at night. And, of course, part of the problems modern people have today is blue light. Yep. And you can get some glasses that block blue light or just don't watch the screens and uh, your phone after a certain time because that blue light will go on. And of course, there's, there's things you can put on your computer or your phone, you know, that yeah. uh, so it'll reduce that blue light. But uh, but that's important. And of course, also, it's, uh, you know, I guess not watching the news and uh, <clears throat> and anything kind of relax before you go to bed, because if you just kind of turn it off and then you go right to bed, it's, it's going to be uh, your mind's still going to be like focused on what you just uh, saw. Yeah, experts recommend uh, you know turning off your your phone and electronics uh, and staying away from that blue light at least two hours before bed. So it's good to kind of set mm -hmm. up a nighttime uh, routine to get yourself ready for quality sleep. Um, what do you what, what's your next tip for us? Well, probably good water, mm -hmm. and obviously a lot of water. Depending where you live, you know, if you've got your own well water, that's great. Uh, but most people don't. They probably need to get your water filtered, especially in your major city. Uh, and uh, get, the fil get the fluoride out, too. They put fluoride in the water, which is uh, really bad because uh, it messes with your thyroid hormones. You know, they're supposed to have iodine, and fluoride is in the same family as iodine, so your T or T T3 or T4 could be contaminated with the fluoride, and then it doesn't work. And that's actually one of the reasons why there's so much thyroid problem in the United States is basically the high levels of fluoride in the water. Yikes. Well, so drink clean, filtered, mm -hmm. healthy water. Okay. Okay. Um, What's number five? Well, it uh, probably goes with number one is getting off your ass <laughs> out the door. And that's uh, fresh air and sunshine. You know, that sunshine makes that vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So sure, sometimes in the wintertime, you can't get that. But yeah. uh, if it's summertime, you don't have to go out in the middle of the day. You can go out in the afternoons or mornings. 
and uh, get that sunshine, get that fresh air, get your body moving, the blood flowing, and uh, and just kind of part of just like having a healthy lifestyle. And, and also people going out and experiencing nature, if you can, uh, just kind of gets rid of depression. Just living in an artificial environment all the time really isn't a good thing for people. You really need to breathe, and we've all been masked up the last mm-hmm. several years. And and what's your what's your <clears throat> opinion on the mask situation in terms of you know a healthy lifestyle choice? Well, I mean, you're just rebreathing your germs and uh, carbon dioxide, so <clears throat> it really wasn't effective anyway. But uh, so yeah, just uh, yeah, it's time to get out and breathe fresh air and talk with people. And and part of that, of course, is uh, is you know reconnecting with people. You know, people aren't meant to be isolated by themselves. Humans are a social creature. So you need like, you know, friends and family and, you know, maybe go out to eat if it's healthy food and uh, just uh, just enjoy life again instead of being, you know, living in fear porn or isolation. Yeah. Turn off the TV. Um, that leads us to our number six tip, which is? The gratitude attitude. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> again, be thankful for what you have. I mean... It's, uh, you can, can't really compare yourself to other people because other people aren't you, but, uh, it's just, uh, you know, kind of stay focused on the good things in life. The uh, glass half full than half empty. Yeah. It's important to start your day and end your day with, mm-hmm. you know, a little mindfulness and gratitude. So focusing on your mindset and thinking about, you know, what you'd like to create in your life versus focusing on, you know, negative things is really important. Um, what do you think people should do num- next? Well, obviously, we'd have to take some C60. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, C60 is really great. It's an SOD catalase mimic, so restarts those mitochondria. So that means you're just going to get your ATP, which is the energy molecule for like 95% of your cellular metabolism. Also, those mitochondria make pregnenolone, the precursor for your hormones. So those hormone levels go up, and that's a good thing all across the board. And, uh, and it does, and just, and also it gets rid of inflammation. That's really important. A lot of us have uh, chronic inflammation, especially if you're over 40. There's injuries and other things that happen in your life and uh, the things you've been exposed to. So, a lot of that chronic inflammation can cause dopamine suppression. And so, when you get take C60, it, C60, it lifts the oxidative burden the cells are under. And so, that whole uh, process of inflammation and dopamine suppression goes away and then you just kind of have the motivation molecule back and you feel better. That's so cool. It's really important to track your pro- progress while you're starting this though because these changes are occurring at the cellular level so you might not necessarily know exactly what's going on but if you use a journal and you track kind of the subtle changes that are happening you know on a daily basis or things that you start to notice like geez my knees aren't creaking as much and my elbow that's been bothering me when I was lifting weights isn't bothering me so much Um, you might notice some of those subtle things and if you don't write it down you might not notice so if you guys um, have already started your c60 journey we would love to hear how it's going and you're welcome to um, you know, tell us what's happening with you and your journey in our, in the comment section right here, or, um, you can write to us directly at shopc60.com forward slash testimonial and, um, share your story with us. Great. Yeah. So what, what's the last tip for people on how to optimize their C60 experience? Oh, well, one of the things is also be patient. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of things that C60 does, C60 lifts the oxidative burden that the cells are under, but those cells have to do the repair. So they have to repair themselves and divide, make new cells. And so that takes a while. So you're, you know, you're not going to see results immediately. You'll see some, but you'll, to, for the other results of rebuilding, that's, you know, some of that, the hormone stuff, that takes about a month. Mm-hmm. And for the stuff that I felt like my macular degeneration going away, that took over seven months. So, you know, and especially the basic rule is if you've had a problem for a long time, it's going to take a while to, uh, for it to go down. Mm-hmm. It just won't happen overnight because C60 is not a magic pill. You know, it's what the healing is, is your own cells. So C60 lifts the oxidative burden, but you got to be there with nutrition and exercise in a good environment, you know, with sleep and lower stress levels and all the other things that promote good health. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, you know, like you said, your wow factor <laughs> with C60 took more than six months. And, yeah. and that's not uncommon for people. I mean, most people notice an increase in energy and mental clarity within 30 days if they're using, you know, using the product, um, or I'm sorry, if they're, if they're, if they've incorporated it into their daily habit. Um, 
But there's some people that are very sensitive and they report in just a few days. Like that always really surprises us because mm -hmm. it's, it's less common, but it is possible. So, you know, mm -hmm. give it time and enjoy your journey because this is a journey. And when you're in the yeah. process of taking <laughs> back control over your health, it takes time, but I love all of your suggestions. Thanks, Ken.